John back to it this week after uh, a short Christmas break. Um, it's not often that you, you, you get away with not having a, a game on Boxing Day. Um, has the, the wee break been good in terms of the team kind of relaxing, resting and, and recuperating? Yeah, it was good for everyone probably involved in football to get this extra little bit of time. Uh, we bring the game forward, uh, the game against Queen of South, bring it forward to the 23rd and also with the game being on the 2nd of January, the next game being on the 2nd of January, it left quite a, a bit of time there which was very, very unusual at this time of the season. So yeah, it was a, an opportunity, as we said, after the match against Queen's uh, to give the guys uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off. We were back in Boxing Day and we've been back in the last couple of days, uh, which gets us into the sync of our usual kind of programme. We'll be off tomorrow then back in on uh, Saturday and Sunday, and then the game on Monday. So that's our normal kind of routine. So yeah, it was it was, it was great for the players to get an opportunity on Christmas Day, not to be up early and coming in early, because guys on Christmas Day want to come in even earlier so they can get back, and that, everyone understands that. So you just want to try and you know play ball a little bit and and uh, let them take that opportunity. So yeah, but we're being back in the swing of things and preparing. Uh, our preparation is going going well for the Dunfermline game. And the Dunfermline game, um, probably the well, the biggest game of the season so far. Um, preparation for this one, um, how has that been going, given you've had two previous encounters with them, kind of contrasting performances as well. Um, how has that kind of shaped how you've been taking uh, your approach to this one? Yeah, well, obviously we've got to, you know, concentrate on ourselves, you know, but you do look at the... the uh, the two games, uh, two different games, as you said. Uh, if you look at Dunfermline, who have no dropped a hell of a lot of points, but they've dropped more points at home than than away. Uh, so maybe there'll be more emphasis on them to attack at home than uh, than away from home, and maybe that'll make it a more open game. Uh, but Dunfermline have been playing a particular formation and then changing it when they played us the last time. And they've been back playing that other formation and that's the thing that we don't know. We don't know if they're going to play what they've been playing or if they're going to change again you know, to, to play against us. So you've got to be ready for either or. And at the same time, you don't want to lose you know, the things that, that we're good at in that as well. So yeah, yeah no, no, it's, it's a, as we all know, it's a kind of special game. The atmosphere will be red hot on a day where there's a number of massive, massive games on in, in Scottish football on, on, the, on the 2nd of January. And them kind of maybe changing up and going that attacking and, and, and trying to um, kind of play on the front foot, is that something that you, you want them to do? Is that how you want them to approach the game so that your team gets a bit more space to exploit and do what you're, you're good at doing? Yeah, well, that's, that's obviously why they didn't do it here, you know? So... That's their prerogative, you know. Uh, and you can, can you, everyone's well enough aware that they came here with a four point lead, and if there was no damage done, then they, they go away with that. They managed to sneak a win and go away with seven. And so, from that point of view, yeah, you could say maybe the same attitude will prevail because, you know, if there's no damage done or if they can sneak a win, you know, uh, yeah, we. We go out to attack in, in every game. I think everyone knows that. We're a very attacking team. We've had more attempts on goal. We've had more shots on target, more shots off target in the league. And on Friday night, we were top goal scorers in the league. You know, Obviously, Edinburgh went out on Saturday and scored four and uh, jumped, jumped above us. So, you know, we're, we're uh, renowned for that. Uh, that's what we are. We want, want to try and give you know, the fans entertainment and uh, see uh, an attacking style and brand of football. So... You know, uh, obviously you've got to get results as well, uh, but there's a long way to go. I know that it's uh, it's still a halfway point in the season, um, and there, there's still a lot of football left to be played. Um, but in terms of the the kind of the bigger picture, how important is this match? Um, is it one that could maybe define the season, or is it? Uh, uh, should there not be that much pressure on on it? I mean, there's. Every game you go out to try and win every game, you know, we've got to try and cut that gap to, to four points. That's, that's 
that's our intentions, that's what we're going to try and do, that's what we are, our aim is. If we can do that, then it's, uh, you know, it opens it up. Uh, as I said earlier, Dunfermline have dropped, you know, more points at home uh, than away. Uh, and that's obviously you know, a bit of encouragement for us going, going there. Uh, maybe a little bit more pressure on them at home to to maybe attack and uh, you know, probably get caught out at times. As I did, you know, against like Clyde, and uh, there's been other games as well, two 0 up against Peterhead, and, and got pulled back. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a big game. It is obviously everyone knows everything about it. Yeah, we've got to make sure that uh, whatever happens, we come out of there with three points. And for the game on Monday, do you have a a bit of a a selection dilemma going into the game? Um, you had your uh, two strikers um, both score against Queen of the South. Um, you also had. Liam Henderson coming back in, playing in the, the midfield, um, which fans uh, seem to think he, he played really well there and, and they want to see him play more there. So d does that give you a, a little bit of a selection headache? Yeah, you, you consider the team all the time, eh? You consider all the time and the job. You, you make decisions every day, hundreds of decisions, you know, and all sorts of things. Yeah, it's, so it's no different, uh, this game for, you know, that selection issue, uh, you have to consider everything, absolutely everything. Uh, we played uh, Liam Henderson in centre mid against Dundee in the League Cup. Uh, he played in centre mid against Dundee United in the Bounds game that we had. We're well aware of what Liam can, can do. Uh, that's why we brought him to the football club, because we need these guys who are versatile, who can play in two or three, three or four positions. and. Uh, you know, he's kind of done that. So, yeah, it was good that he came on. It was good that the two strikers scored. It was good that Carl Morrison got two and got two assists. Yeah, it was all good. It was all good across the board, you know. So, that's a better headache than uh, no scoring goals, no creating chances and uh, and losing goals. So, yeah, that's a good issue, good problem to have. Just one that we make all the time. And just lastly, talking about the squad, um, how are they looking uh, going into this game in terms of injuries and, and fitness? Well, suspension-wise, we get Cole Donaldson back available. Uh, we've got, got a little bit of illness like every team has at the moment. There seems to be illnesses going about here, there and everywhere else. So that's something that we both have to wait and see. Plenty of time, you know, before the game for it these things to, to go away but at the same time <laughs> more time to actually get some more so uh, we, don't, we have no new injuries we don't expect to have anyone back who are injured either so that's it Great John thank you very much um, enjoy your new year and we'll see you on Monday Yeah yeah. so uh, happy new year to all the, the Falkirk fans you know um, hopefully 23 is going to be a good year for us all so no doubt we'll see you in big numbers and hear you uh, on the 2nd of January. <laughs>